Hi there. Welcome to MCSI. My name is Emma. In this video, I will demonstrate how you can perform email forensics. We have another video on our channel where I list the different artifacts that can be recovered by performing email forensics. You will find the link to that video in the description box below. I highly recommend that you watch that video before proceeding with this one. Currently, I have access to a Google mailbox that has been set up for personal use. I will show you how you can recover different artifacts from it. Let's get started. This is Jane Doe's mailbox. Here is her email address. Let's start with discussing about how mailbox artifacts can be recovered from this Google mailbox. Here's how you can view the activity log. At the end of the page, when you click on details, a window opens up having a list of the last 10 times at which this mailbox was accessed. You can find the IP address from which the access was made and when the mailbox was accessed. However, you can view exact time information only for the last 24 hours. You can also find out whether the access was from a computer or mobile device. For personal mailboxes, the level of information stored in the activity log depends on the email provider. Within settings, within the forwarding section, you can find out if any email forwarding rules have been set up. Here one forwarding rule exists, which indicates that incoming emails must be forwarded to this email address, while also retaining a copy of the email. It is also possible to forward an email, and either delete it or archive it. When the rule has been set up, the recipient must agree to receive all forwarded emails from this inbox. You can also search for emails using keywords. You can also filter the search based on time. A search operation will search across emails in all the tabs and any created labels. Remember to also look within drafts, spam and trash. Next, let us discuss the artifacts of one email. The message here is the email body. There are no attachments in this email. To view the email headers, click on More and then Show Original. I will tell you about some important sections here. Within the Received section, you can find the IP address of the sender. You can utilize an IP address lookup tool to find out the country this IP address is present in. Although, IP addresses do not provide precise geolocations, it still helps to narrow down the region. The DKIM signature field contains information that helps verify the sender's authenticity. You can also find the timestamp at which this email was sent. To fully comprehend all the fields in this section, I encourage you to research about email headers. Now, I will tell you about a situation where email forensics was extremely useful. There is a large organization called Delta Firms. Employees have been assigned email addresses, which has their name, followed by at deltafirms.com. This means each employee has a mailbox associated with their email address. Last week, Nina and Sam received an email from Harry. The email indicated that Harry was in financial trouble and needed some help. There were details of a bank account to transfer funds into. There were some pictures attached to the email, which indicated an uncomfortable living situation. They decided to talk to Harry to find out how they could help him better. Turns out, Harry never sent that email. He was not in financial trouble, and he was not one to utilize business emails for personal communication. Something was fishy. They decided to call the forensics team to investigate. By looking at the mailbox activity log, they identified that Harry's mailbox had been accessed recently from a foreign country. He had not traveled abroad recently. Email forwarding rules were set up in Harry's mailbox. Any emails received from Nina and Sam were to be forwarded to another email address that did not belong to Harry. When the email headers were processed, 
it appeared that the email was sent from the same foreign country. The forensics team identified that Harry's business mailbox has been compromised. A cyber adversary had been sending emails to Harry's contacts in an attempt to earn money fraudulently. Immediately, a business email compromise investigation was launched. The forensics team was tasked with identifying if any other mailboxes within the organization had been compromised. Can you guess how the investigation would have progressed? The forensics team would acquire activity logs and mailbox rules from all of Harry's immediate contacts and process them. Business email providers typically store extensive mailbox activity logs. It is possible to find logs indicating when an email was sent or deleted, when a forwarding rule was set up, the IP address from which it was set up, etc. Here is a project idea for you. Set up an email account with a provider like Proton Mail or Yahoo Mail. Use that mailbox to send and receive emails, set up forwarding rules, etc. Process that mailbox for forensic artifacts. Once you are familiar with the email artifacts that can be recovered, you can easily acquire them in personal or enterprise mailboxes. If you liked this video, please hit like and share this video on social media. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to receive more videos like this one. Join our online community of students learning useful cybersecurity skills if you haven't already. To register for a free account right away, go to our website. Happy learning and see you soon!